spending 100 days in kidnappers den and the harrowing experience on its own is nothing anyone should imagine but when freedom knocks on the door for hassan sili one of the victims of abuja kaduna train attack recently released by abductors there is more to share and appreciate about the story and amina saidu will tell us it was a normal train service on one of Nigeria's busiest routes. Many are familiar with the incidents of the unfortunate trip from Abuja to Kaduna. For Dr. Hassan Sule, it was a black day as his dream to reach Kaduna in comfort of the train turned to a nightmare. We remember vividly that we trekked more than five hours into the dark. And that set in our um, I kind of went to send the light and uh, we went to a particular place where the, uh, the guards were uh, the cut of the grasses and we landed on there to daybreak. He shares his story. An unfortunate development. And uh, at the bush there, to be candid, we were not maltreated. To be sincere, we were not maltreated. But however, you have to obey their rules. You know, they have their own ideology. And uh, I know some people actually drill out of their own rules and they met their anger. Dr. Sule says nothing could have been more traumatizing. And the first 30 days, mosquitoes were actually our guests. I know what mosquito causes. Malaria and, uh, and, the, and the environment certainly with the water we're taking there, the kind of food, certainly our body couldn't adjust. Regaining freedom is priceless. You will not understand the meaning of freedom when you are taken out of your comfort zone and you are being restricted from your daily routines. That way you know freedom is very, very useful. Friends and relatives are in a festive mood as they welcome one of their own home. They come back and meet us uh, alive. And uh, we all the family are happy with that. We are very happy for the support part of the government and the public in general. The release of Dr. Hassan Sule and six others rekindled hope for those in captivity. For the families of the 46 others, it is their ardent prayer that they be reunited with their loved ones. In Kaduna, I mean, I say you do, NTA News. Yes.